Gugong Dam is located near Queanbeyan and is one of the four main water storages that serve that city and Canberra. For almost 30 years, Gugong has been an important reservoir, but it now requires some maintenance. The project's an upgrade to the existing spillway. So in the late 70s, the dam was built here. Uh, they had a spillway that they thought would function for the life of the dam, but over the years found that there was some erosion and that we had to come here and, and upgrade it. As part of the water security major projects, ACTU is conducting the remediation works at Gugong with its Bulk Water Alliance partners, John Holland, Abbey Group and GHD. The original design had an exposed rock face over the lower half of the spillway and the water, being water, found a weaker section of the rock and started to scour it out. The biggest challenge on this job is the actual, the fact that it wasn't built for anyone to come back and do any more work, so we've had to build a lot of access back into the spillway. The project includes strengthening the approach wall to the spillway and undertaking rock protection works in the near vicinity. This remediation will bring the structure into line with modern design and safety standards. We really say that safety is first on our site because basically we want the guys to come, go home the same way they came to work. The expected flood going over the spillway is a lot higher than they originally planned, so we're, we're raising the walls, um, treating a lot of the rock that has eroded and essentially doubling the capacity. Before we started here, there was a great big scour in the, in the rock mass, which is now full of concrete, about 6,000 cubic concrete going into filling it. So yeah, we're just trying to finalise it, make it pretty and tidy it up and give it some durability. Each day you've got hazards um, that we look at, such as environment, is first of all, that we want to make sure we're maintaining you know, safe standards for the environment. Safety-wise, we have a lot of work at heights. We use a lot of concrete, so you have to look at things like concrete burns, ensuring that the guys have the correct PPE for themselves. And we also just want the guys to watch themselves in the spillway itself, because it is quite a heavy slope. At one stage it hits 23 degrees. We got a good team of people, um, fairly young team. Uh, pick the staff up in the, in the office, get on well together. The guys out on site, uh, they're the ones who are doing the work, uh, controlled by the foreman and superintendent. But um, yeah, we go on, get on real well. It was built so that now there's a, there's a 30 metre height difference between where we're working to where we've got to end up. And that presents difficulties in working at heights and how we deal with machines that are working next to edges. Um, obviously we're working in a live reservoir which means we can't touch that water upstream because it's a drinking source and downstream is a river so we've been it on both sides environmentally. The safety report card is looking great. We've only improved. We had a few hiccups at the start which can be expected so we learned from our mistakes, we moved forward and now we're going quite well. But until we get to the end, I say never count your chickens until they hatch. It's exciting, it's challenging, um, seeing something grow and develop in front of yourself uh, while you're here, uh, achieving something. Um, if you saw the site beforehand, it looked quite different to what it does now, and when we finish it will certainly be a lot different to what that is too. So, um, the coordination, the planning that goes into involving all that um, and making that happen, I guess is, is one of the exciting things that I like. Knowing that you're doing something for the environment, for the future, for water. I mean, I've been here through the bushfires, I've been here through the drought, I've seen it all. So you do know what you're actually doing has some, it'll have a purpose and it's got good meaning behind it. Due to the required rock blasting and for safety reasons, a small section of the reserve and access to the lower foreshores, known as the Cascades, will remain closed until the completion of the work in mid-2010.